First impressions of Chiang Mai, this might just be my new favourite spot in Thailand. Morning! Right, we've just got to Chiang Mai. First stop is the apartment. Luckily enough, we've got it early because they've got the Songkran Festival on. So we're going to get blasted with water for the rest of the day. Luckily, uh, luckily for us though, hasn't started yet. I'll show you the apartment first up, let's go. decided to do things a little differently this time. We've uh, gone for an apartment instead of a hotel room. So we can have our own cooking facilities and uh, do our own food. Now this place also comes complete with a pool and a gym. You've got unlimited access to both as well. Crown Festival here for these few days. So I'm coming out in swimming trunks. I'm not taking any chances. I'm going to be blasted with water. I see them before everyone targets us. There's music, subs, water pistols, buckets. It really is a battlefield. Ooh, time for some food. My favourite time of the day. Mama with crispy pork, never had it before, I'm gonna try it. Now, what you ordered here? Crispy noodles and crispy pork, yeah? Crispy noodles and crispy pork, and it's a very gelatinous <laughs> That's it. sauce. It does taste nice, but the sauce gelatinously, gel gelatinously, that's not a word, it's put me off. It is very gelified, isn't it? Mm. Can you see the string in this on, on the camera? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Straight away you can notice the difference in price between here and further south. It's, it's a lot cheaper up here for uh, food and food and coffee. And here's mine. This is actually really nice. It's, a, it's basically like a red curry with noodles, egg and crispy pork in it. It's got some vegetables too, but it's definitely a good one to order if you're not sure what to order when you look at these menus. That was 
burning my mouth. <laughs> Oh, mate. Yeah, don't do that. You actually can't go anywhere without getting absolutely mullered. I've got a little tip though. If you're with someone else, walk in front. Make sure you're in front because they, by the time they've noticed you, if you're a bit too late, and whoever's behind you is going to face the the full brunt of it. Guys, I've been got. Look, I'm completely soaked. There's not one inch of me, and my bag is dripping, and I have my phone in there. See, so that's what you gotta do, you gotta walk in front. It's so much fun though. But like the the locals, like especially the kids, like, they have such a good time doing playing this. Like imagine you can just go up to random people on the street and blast them with water out of a water pistol. Like I remember when I was younger, I used to shoot people with a water pistol and they get pissed off. But here it's like you've got to just like smile and wave. Smile and wave boys, smile and wave. So we've just had our first trip to the supermarket and it is a very, very expensive to cook your own food here. I don't understand how they survive really because it's like a lot of the stuff was more expensive than even back home. So yeah, it's definitely not a cheaper option to do this. Although we may have enough food to do a couple of dinners. Um, but yeah, it, come to, it came to a lot of money for not really much stuff. It's actually quite nice to have a little bit more space than usual. But um, yeah, on the cooking side of things, especially with how inexpensive it is up here in Chiang Mai, like the food up here, you're looking at under 100 baht per meal. Whereas we've just paid 1,210 baht for enough food that's gonna do us like one breakfast, one dinner with, with some leftovers, you know? It's, it's a lot of difference. So yeah, it's, it's very expensive to, to um, get your own food here. I don't know if we went to a particularly expensive supermarket, but yeah, it's, it's definitely come to a lot more than I was expecting. But yeah, oh well, at least we're gonna have a nice home-cooked dinner tonight. Look at that, mate, straight out of the hive. They even took some bees with them. Don't know how I feel about having a dead carcass in there, but it's gonna be really good for you. Raw honey, mate, really good for you. Right, so we've removed the bees. Some Down honeycomb there. in there. It's really nice. Yeah. That is really nice. Worth 150 baht. Yeah, 150 baht, a bit steep, but I love raw honey. Right, so we are back at the same place we were at yesterday. What was the name? Yeah. We've got cow sock. How is it, Dan? Very nice. good. Yeah. Very this good. is like the traditional dish to have in Chiang Mai, apparently. So yeah. we're going for it. I don't know if it's as good as the one we had in um, Kolenta. Oh, really? Yeah, I know all like the, the fresh onion and stuff you can put in. Yeah. This doesn't have any of that. Oh. But it still tastes good. It does taste nice. Well, it's a fraction of the price, so. So you like, I think, 60 baht for this. Mm. It's pretty good. The dish itself consists really of noodles in like a really nice curry sauce. Um, not sure what curry it's like. It's a bit like Penang, I would say. It's coconutty, isn't it? You have noodles in there, crispy pork on top, and we've got these crispy noodles as well. Which are a bit like quavers. It's, it's a really good dish, really nice. If you if you come here, if you come up here to Chiang Mai, you've got to try this cow sock. Well, nice. Morning, guys. We are off to an elephant sanctuary today. You've got to make sure you do a bit of research and make sure it's an ethical elephant sanctuary. We've checked the reviews and that, and it all looks good. So we're just going to go there today, see how we feel about the place, and let you guys know. This mud is pretty itchy. Doesn't feel very comfy at all. 